Beginning in a tabletop position by bringing your knees near 18 and 19, recalling hip width distance from the previous video, and bring your hands, placing them shoulder width apart, left hand near 5 and 6, right hand near 7 and 8. Ensure that your shoulders stack over your wrists and your hips stack over your knees. Gaze down and slightly forward of your hands, gently spreading your fingers, and engage your abdominal muscles to support your spine. Inhale, soften your belly gently toward the mat, lifting your tailbone and forehead toward the ceiling, arching your back for cow pose. Exhale, press the mat away with your hands and round your spine, lifting your middle back toward the ceiling for cat pose. Inhale, belly drops, tailbone and forehead lift skyward. Exhale, press the mat away, round the spine. Inhale, belly drops, gaze and tailbone lift. Be gentle with your neck, staying in a pain-free range of motion. And exhale, press the mat away, rounding the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone and the forehead. Exhale, press the mat away, round the spine and allow the head to drop. Inhale, returning to a neutral spine, tuck the toes, and as you exhale, lift your hips and bum, beginning to straighten your legs toward downward facing dog with your feet near 22 and 26 and 23 and 27. Pedal your feet, bending one knee at a time, dropping opposite heels to the floor to stretch the back sides of your legs. Continue to pedal and press down into the base knuckles on all of your fingers, especially the thumb and first finger. Look briefly at your hands to be sure your wrist creases are parallel with the horizontal grid lines on your mat, and see that the soft parts of your elbow are facing each other. As usual, if you have a tendency to lock your elbows, please bend them slightly here. Press the mat away from you with your arms, trying to bring some weight back into your legs, and opening up through the armpits, drawing your chest toward your thighs, and then squeezing your front ribs together. Inhale, roll forward to a high push-up pose, strongly engaging through your legs, core, arms, and back. You always have the option to drop your knees to the mat in plank pose to make it a little bit easier. But if your legs are straight, be sure that your hips don't sag toward the floor and you don't lift your bum up toward the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Press the mat away with your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, keep drawing the belly in, downward facing dog. Once more, inhale to plank pose, broaden your collarbones, pull your heart forward and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, drop your knees again near 18 and 19, stacking your hips directly over your knees, and exhale, walk your hands forward and out wide toward one and four, letting the chest and forehead release toward the mat for puppy pose. Inhale, walk your hands in toward five and six and seven and eight, tuck your toes under, and exhale, lift your hips up and back, beginning to straighten the legs for downward facing dog. Your feet will be near 22 and 26 and 23 and 27. Look back at your feet, making sure they're about hip width apart with the second toes parallel with the vertical grid lines on the mat. Pull the belly in and up very strongly, keeping your knees bent enough so that your lower back is flat or slightly arched. If you're able to find that flatness in your lower back, you can begin to straighten the knees, drawing the heels toward the mat. Inhale, extend your right leg high behind you and rise high onto the ball of the left foot. Exhale, round your spine as much as you can and pull your right knee in toward your nose. Inhale. Press back to downward facing dog, extending the right leg high behind you. Rise onto the ball of the left foot again, and exhale, round the spine, drawing the knee toward the nose, pressing the mat away from you as strongly as possible, and stepping your right foot toward number seven. 
If your knee is still in front of your right ankle, take an inhale, bring your right hand to the back side of your right calf or ankle, and as you exhale, manually draw your right foot further forward toward number seven so that your knee stacks over your ankle. Inhale here in a low lunge position, and exhale, bring your left knee down near 18. Inhale, lifting your torso, drawing your belly in, and raising your arms up overhead for a low lunge with your back knee down. Inhale again, lift the gaze toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your hands down on either side of the right foot. Inhale, tuck your left toes and straighten your left leg. Exhale, step your right foot back toward downward facing dog feet on 22 and 26, and 23 and 27. Take a breath here, and then inhale, this time extending your left leg high behind you, rising high onto the ball of the right foot. Exhale, round the spine as much as you can, drawing your knee strongly in toward your nose. Inhale, press back to a three-legged down dog, extending left leg high behind you, rising onto the ball of the right foot and exhale, round the spine, drawing the knee toward the nose, pressing the mat away from you, and stepping the left foot toward number six. If your knee is in front of your ankle, this time take an inhale, bring the left hand to the back of the left calf or ankle, and as you exhale, manually draw the left foot further forward toward number six. Be sure that your left knee stacks over your left ankle, and inhale here in a low lunge, drawing your belly in and pulling your heart forward. Exhale, right knee drops to number 19. Inhale, lifting your torso, continuing to engage your abdominals, raising your arms up overhead. Exhale to hold here. Inhale, lift your gaze toward the ceiling. Exhale, hands down on either side of the left foot. Tuck the right toes under on an inhale, straighten the right leg and exhale, step the left foot back for downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to the balls of your feet, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or walk your feet toward six and seven. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back, long spine, and exhale, fold, standing forward bend. Inhale, hands to shins, the floor or a block, flat back, straight elbows. Exhale, fold. This time, inhale, begin to rise all the way up to a stand, bringing the arms up overhead for upward salute. And exhale, hands to sides, mountain pose. Look down at your feet. Ensure that they're about hip width apart, near six and seven, paralleling the second toe with the vertical grid lines on the mat. Engage your quadriceps and brace your abdominal muscles, especially the ones in your lower belly. Rock gently front to back and side to side until the weight is evenly distributed in your feet. Bring your thumbs under your armpits, lifting like suspenders, lifting your chest, but squeezing your front ribs and abs in to keep from arching your lower back. Draw your shoulders down away from your earlobes, letting your arms come down by the sides. Gently spread the fingers and rotate the hands so the pinkies are closest to the thighs. Inhale, sit back as though you're sitting in a chair, raising your arms up over your head for chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, straight elbows. And exhale, fold over your legs into standing forward bend. Hands to shins, the block or a floor. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step both feet back for downward facing dog. Check to see that your second toes are parallel with the vertical grid lines. Keep drawing the low belly in and really press the mat away from you with your arms, 
opening up the undersides of the arms and the chest and then drawing the front ribs in to keep from puffing the chest too far out. Let your head relax, soften your neck, and then inhale, extend right leg high behind you, rise to the ball of your left foot, Exhale, round the spine, draw your right knee toward your nose and step the right foot towards seven. Inhale if you need to bring the right hand to the back of the ankle and exhale, draw the right foot further forward until right knee stacks over right ankle. Be sure here that your right knee points straight forward toward the number three, not veering in toward number two or out toward number four. Inhale to press your left heel down into the mat and exhale to see that your left toes are pointing toward number 17. Inhale again, lift your torso and extend your arms up overhead. Exhale, engage your abdominal muscles and keeping your back foot still, roll your left thigh inward so that your hips square just a little bit more toward the front of your mat. Inhale here in warrior one. And exhale, plant your hands shoulder width apart near five and six and seven and eight. And exhale, step the feet back, plank pose or high push up. Inhale, keep your body in a long straight line. And exhale, knees, chest, chin or low push up. Untuck your toes, pull your chest forward. Inhale, Cobra pose, engaging the upper back muscles, beginning to straighten the elbows and lifting the chest. Exhale, lower your chest and forehead to the mat. Inhale, tuck your toes, straighten your elbows, bring your seat toward your heels. And as you exhale, lift your bum and hips, beginning to straighten your legs for downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg high behind you, rise onto the ball of the right foot. Exhale, round the spine, draw the left knee in toward your nose, stepping the foot toward number six. If needed, inhale, bring the left hand to the back of the ankle, and exhale, draw the left foot further forward until your knee is stacked over your ankle. Be sure here that your left knee points straight forward toward number two, not veering in toward number three or out toward number one. Inhale, pressing your right heel down into the mat, and exhale to be sure that your toes are pointing toward number 19. Inhale, lifting your torso, extending arms overhead for warrior one. Exhale, engaging your abdominal muscles, and rolling your right thigh inward so that your hips are a bit more square to the front of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, Plant your hands shoulder width apart near five and six and seven and eight. Inhale. And as you exhale, step the left foot back toward 26 for plank pose. Inhale, keeping your body in a long straight line, shift forward to your tiptoes. Exhale, bend your elbows for low push up or knees, chest, chin, squeezing elbows tight to their ribs. Untuck your toes, lower all the way to the floor. And inhale, pull your chest up and forward, engaging the upper back muscles, beginning to straighten the elbows, cobra pose. Exhale, lower your chest and forehead to the mat. Inhale, tuck toes, straighten elbows, and bring your seat toward your heels. Exhale, lift the bum and hips for downward facing dog, feet near 22 and 26 and 23 and 27. Inhale, drop your knees near 18 and 19. Bring your big toes to touch. Then spread your knees a bit wider than hip width apart, setting your bum down toward your heels, slowly walking your hands forward, allowing your belly and chest to drop between your thighs and your forehead to come to the mat. Rest here briefly in child's pose, slowing down the breath, calming the mind.
Inhale as you begin to walk the hands back in, lifting the torso. And as you exhale, slowly step your feet towards six and seven. Find a soft bend in the knees. Let your upper body hang heavy. And as you inhale, begin to slowly roll yourself up to stand. Coming into mountain pose, feet near six and seven, second toes parallel with the vertical grid lines on the mat. Redistribute the weight in the feet if needed. Engage quadriceps, abdominal muscles, and draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, sit back as though you're sitting in a chair, raising your arms up overhead for chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs into standing forward bend. Hands to shins, the floor or a block. Halfway lift on the inhale, straighten the elbows, lengthen the spine. And exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale here, bending the knees. Exhale, plant your hands shoulder width apart and step back to plank pose. Inhale, shift to your tiptoes. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower halfway down, low push up. Untuck the toes, inhale, begin to straighten elbows and curl the chest up, cobra pose. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Be sure your feet are near 22 and 26 and 23 and 27 drawing your belly in and up. Inhale, extend your right leg high behind you, rising onto the ball of the left foot. Exhale, round the spine, draw right knee toward nose and step the foot toward number seven. Bring the hand to the back of the ankle on the inhale. Exhale, step the right foot further forward, stacking knee over ankle. Inhale, press your left heel down into the mat and exhale, make sure your left toes are pointing towards 17. Inhale, lift the torso, draw your arms up overhead, and exhale, engage your abdominal muscles, warrior one. Take an extra breath here as you gently roll your left thigh inward to square your hips just a little more to the front of the mat, and exhale, bend your right knee a little bit deeper. Inhale, Exhale, plant your hands shoulder width apart near five and six and seven and eight, low lunge. Inhale here, exhale, set the right foot back toward 27 for plank pose. Inhale, keeping your body in a long straight line, shift to your tiptoes, exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze them tight to the ribs, low push up. Lower all the way down, untuck the toes, and inhale, curl the chest up, engaging the upper back muscles, beginning to straighten the elbows. Exhale, lower your chin, chest, and forehead to the mat. Inhale, curl the chest up once more, cobra pose. Exhale, lift your bum, begin to straighten your legs, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend left leg high behind you, rising onto the ball of the right foot. Exhale, round the spine, draw left knee in toward the nose, step your left knee toward number six. Inhale, if needed, bring your left hand to the back of your ankle and draw the foot further forward on the exhale until the left knee stacks over left ankle. Inhale here in your low lunge. As you exhale, Draw your right heel down into the mat, being sure your toes point toward 19. Inhale, lift your torso, extending your arms overhead. And exhale, keep your abdominals engaged, warrior one. Inhale, keeping your back foot still. As you exhale, gently roll your right thigh inward to square your hips slightly more to the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands shoulder width apart near five and six and seven and eight. Inhale in your low lunge. Exhale, step your left foot back toward 26 for plank pose. Breathe in as you shift forward to your tiptoes. 
breathe out as you bend the elbows for low push-up. Keep your belly drawing in really strongly. Lower all the way to the mat. Press the tops of your feet down as you inhale, curl your chest up, cobra pose. Exhale, lower chest and forehead to the mat. Inhale, curl the chest up, press the tops of the feet down, begin to straighten elbows, cobra pose. Exhale, this time lift your hips up and back toward downward facing dog, feet near 22 and 26 and 23 and 27. Take a couple of breaths here, finding some stillness, pressing the mat away from you with your hands, rooting down into the base knuckles of each finger, especially the thumb and the first. Draw the low belly in and up, finding a lengthening and flattening of the lower back, and then option to draw the heels down toward the floor. Inhale, rise to the balls of your feet, bend your knees and look towards six and seven. Exhale, step or walk your feet forward. Inhale, hands to shins, the floor or a block, flat back. Exhale, standing forward bend. From here, inhale, sit back into chair pose, lifting the torso and bending the knees. Exhale, straighten legs hands to sides for mountain pose. Take a big inhale here and a full exhale. Inhale, reach your arms overhead for upward salute, pulling the abdominals and the front ribs in. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold over your legs, standing forward bend. Inhale, plant your hands and step your right foot back toward 23 and 27 on the exhale. Inhale in your low lunge. Exhale, bring the right knee down near number 19. Inhale, lift your torso and place your hands on your front thigh. Exhale, press forward with your hands as though pressing your left thigh away from you. Inhale, drawing your belly in as much as possible. Exhale, scoop your tailbone underneath you, drawing it toward your left heel. Inhale here, keep pressing forward on the left thigh, and exhale, sink your hips deeply forward for a big stretch in your right thigh. Continuing to breathe here while drawing the belly in as much as possible, pressing the left thigh forward and drawing the tailbone underneath you, sinking the hips deeply forward. Staying within a pain-free range of motion, but seeking a deep stretch in your right thigh. Continuing to breathe, you'll shift your left shin forward, placing it on the mat with your knee by nine and 10 and the side of your foot near 11 or 15. Wiggling your right toes back a few inches further behind you now, untuck the toes and let the top of your right foot rest on the mat. Be sure to strongly flex your left foot, and then turn to look back at your right leg and be sure that your whole leg stays in the same column of numbers. Your right hip will be near 11, and your toes will be pointing toward 27. Place a block or a blanket under your left hip for support if this pose feels very strenuous or uncomfortable. Press both of your feet down into the mat and then imagine that they're magnetized to one another, gently pulling the feet toward one another to help square the hips. Gently squeeze your inner thighs together. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, fold your chest over your left shin, resting your forearms, hands, or head on a block or on the mat. Breathe here. Taking nice deep breaths, this pose can be very intense. Make sure that you're still in a pain-free range of motion, but experiencing 
a significant amount of sensation. Resist the temptation to start fidgeting or moving around and take a few more deep breaths, trying to relax into pigeon pose. On your next inhalation, begin to lift your torso. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, plant your hands near five and six and seven and eight. Press firmly down into your hands. As you exhale, wiggle your left leg back, finding a tabletop position. Take a breath or two, and then bring your big toes to touch, sitting back into child's pose. Notice in these next few breaths, if your legs, hips, thighs feel different on the right side and the left side. Inhale, walking your hands back in toward five and six and seven and eight. And on your exhale, step your right foot toward seven. Keeping your hands firmly planted, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, extend your left foot back toward 22 and 26, straightening the left leg. As you exhale next, drop your left knee down near 18. Inhale, lift your torso, placing your hands on your front thigh. And as you exhale, begin to press the front thigh forward and away from you. Inhale, draw your belly in as strongly as possible, and exhale, scoop your tailbone underneath you toward your right heel. Inhale, continuing to press the front thigh away. Exhale, sink deeply forward for a big stretch in your left thigh. Maintain the drawing in of the belly, the scoop of the tailbone, and the sinking of the hips forward as you press your right thigh away from you. Take one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, plant your hands near five and six and seven and eight. Begin to shift your right shin forward, placing your leg on the mat with the knee near 11 and 12 and the foot near 10 or 14. Wiggle your left toes back a few inches further behind you, untuck the toes, and let the top of the left foot rest on the mat. Flex your right foot strongly to protect your knee, and then look back at your left leg and be sure that the whole leg stays in the same column of numbers, left hip near 10 with toes pointing toward 26. Place a block or a blanket under your right hip for support if the pose is feeling very strenuous or uncomfortable. Gently press both feet down into the mat and once again imagine that they're magnetized, gently pulling them toward one another helping to square the hips. Continue to gently squeeze your inner thighs together. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine and an exhale to fold your chest over your right shin, resting hands, forearms, or head on a block or all the way down on the mat. Continue to breathe deeply here, remembering that an intense amount of sensation is okay, but you wanna stay in a pain-free range of motion. So coming out, of a little bit of the depth if you're feeling pain anywhere. C 
seeing if you can relax here, resisting the temptation to move just a little bit longer, a couple more breaths. Big deep breath in, lifting the torso, tucking the left toes under, pressing firmly down into your hands, and wiggling your right leg back. Find a tabletop here, shake out your right hip a little bit, then very briefly bring the big toes to touch, take the knees a little bit wider than hip width, sink seat toward heels, and fold the chest, belly, and forehead forward for child's pose. If it feels good now to gently rock the hips from side to side, you can do that or rock the forehead side to side gently against the mat. Walking your hands in and lifting your torso, plant your hands, cross your feet at the ankles, and come to sit down on your bum. Turn to face the wide edge of your mat, sitting your bum around 11 and 15. Spread your legs a comfortable distance with your legs straight. If your knees are bending or strongly you're falling backwards, sit again on a blanket or a folded towel to give your hips a little bit of extra height. Sit up tall now, being sure that the kneecaps and toes point directly up toward the ceiling. If you already feel substantial stretch in your hamstrings and your inner legs, you can remain here sitting up tall. Otherwise, on an exhalation, very gently begin to walk your hands forward, slowly folding your chest down toward the floor. Ensure, regardless of how forward you come with your chest, that your legs are gently engaged, squeezing your quadriceps, and that your knees and toes are pointing toward the ceiling. As you inhale, slowly walk your hands to the left toward number 22, keeping the chest as low toward the ground as is manageable. Kneecaps and toes still point skyward. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands back through center over toward the right. The hands might come toward 10 or 6, keeping the torso low to the ground, quadriceps gently engaged, toes and kneecaps to the ceiling. As you exhale, walk the hands back toward center once more, and take a big inhale as you lift your torso, sitting up tall, and as you exhale, bring your hands to the outsides of your knees using the strength of your arms to manually rebend your legs. Draw your knees together and turn to face the front of your mat once more and then come to lay down on your back. Draw the knees in toward the chest and then allow both legs to fall over to the left, allowing them to rest on the mat. Gently rooting down into the mat with the right shoulder and shoulder blade, relax your head allowing the gaze to move over to the right if the neck is comfortable. Resting your left hand on the outside of your right thigh, extend your right arm straight out or bent at the elbow like a cactus, palm facing up. Allow your body to be heavy and your face to relax. Inhale, draw the knees back up to center. Exhale, allow both legs to fall over to the right, resting on the floor or the mat. Keeping your head relaxed, taking the gaze over to the left if it's comfortable for your neck, and rooting down into the mat with the left shoulder and shoulder blade. Rest your right hand on the outside of your left thigh, extending left arm straight out or bent like a cactus, palm facing up. 
Once again, relax into the pose, allowing your body to be heavy and your jaw to be soft. Inhale, drawing the knees up to center once more. And as you exhale, extend your legs toward two and three. Point and flex the toes a few times, strongly engaging the legs. And then on an exhale, release all the engagement of the legs, letting the feet and legs splay open. Bring your arms down by your sides, leaving some space between your body and your arms, turning the palms upward. Soften your face and your jaw. Let your eyes close. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale fully through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale deeply through the nose. Sigh through the mouth and take rest.